We've been living in this house for well over six months. That is well over six months since the collection went down. Well over six months of anticipation. But it all builds up to today. The collection is back. I'm AB Fix and welcome to my crib. Starting us off, one of the first things you see when you enter this room, we have our basic wall. This was just put up. I only put it up the other day because there was space. This is right behind the door. Don't have many basics left, but these are the ones that I really still do like and are sentimental to me. So really happy to have managed to get these up for now at least. Before showing you the rest of our walls, let's first take you over to one of our shelves where we have our ultimate edition figures. We have all of them except for series 5 and series 7, which are on pre-order through popguardian.co.nz this hardy boys 2 pack it's only here really because there's nowhere else to put it for now a couple other random things there over here the desk where i edit all the videos and of course also on display we have some undertaker plaques wrestlemania 25 wrestlemania 27 and in the middle here wrestlemania 36 these two ones on the outside have undertaker's autograph and pieces of the ring rope this one has the dirt from the boneyard match and right over here we have one of my most prized possessions the ring used turnbuckle pad from road to wrestlemania 2000 2006. Really wish I had a better place to display it, but for now, this'll do. Over in this corner, of course, we have the good old shelf making its return, housing many figures, including these Mailway Triple H and Mr. McMahons, the Slinger Macho Man Randy Savage, some of my favourite figures in my collection, the old school defining moments, some of the newer defining moments down here, and the unreleased Elite Series 1 Jeff Hardy. Down here we have some other mint on card figures at the back, and I managed to squeeze all of our loose figures, well, not that there are many to be honest, but we have them all on one shelf this time as opposed to two, and wait, at the bottom here we have the legends front and center to one of my favorite parts of the room we have the undertaker corner or what other people like to call the undertaker shrine uh, we had a version of this at the old place but i've really refined it this time and tried to make better use of the space we have the five pack up here 2k14 autograph autographed entrance grates the Sangre day <coughs> San Diego Comic Con exclusive Undertaker, a few cards here, we have a couple old school Hasbro figures, retro figure, and down here we have the Pop Finals, also down here we have a couple other Hardy Boys packs that can't fit anywhere else. Now to the part you've all been waiting for, and the part that I have been looking forward to show you the most, we have our Elite War. It just keeps going, it 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 keeps going. Sorry about that, just had a bit of a glitch there. So the way I've displayed this is from oldest to newest, our oldest starting up here from Elite Series 1 Undertaker, going along for our first row um, all the way around here, if we can get back in focus, sorry my hand kind of got in the way there. I was really torn on whether or not to use this top part here above the window, but I thought it's empty space, may as well use it because I'm pretty sure one day we will end up running out of space again, uh, going back along down here of course. Um, I'm not going to go through every single one of course, uh, but just to give you a little bit of an idea as we go along, I actually really do prefer the display we have here as the two walls are connected uh, rather than just being on different sides of the room uh, so I, I really do like this and I think it'll look better for future videos as well and I also forgot to show you we have our greatest fan championship of course the Hulk Hogan LGN and over here we actually have a quite a massive pile of stuff that never actually ended up going back up on the walls stuff that we had up at the last place but it was really really hard to try and narrow it down but I had to make sure there's enough space to keep us going for a little while so we have roughly 30 figures here already let go of a couple of them uh yeah really sad to see them go but yes uh that is what we are dealing with 
So there we go, man it feels good to be holding a camera in front of a collection again. Really hope you enjoyed the way that I presented that. What is your favourite part of the room? Please leave it down in the comments. Wait, you right there. Yes you, there is an 80% chance that you watching this video right now are not subscribed and if this is one of you, it is so simple, hit the button right underneath my face, yes that one right there and while you're at it, hit the one next to it, hit the bell so you can be the first one to know about every new upload. With 2021 on the horizon, it would be awesome if we could hit 2000 subscribers and the more of you watching, the harder I work to give you the best content possible. Now, I'm in the middle of editing this video you're watching right now and I realised I never explained why this wall right behind me here was left empty where everything else is pretty much covered. Now my plan for this wall behind me is to fill it up with hopefully the new AEW action figures. Um, I have series 1 and 2 on the way when they're going to come in stock. Who knows, if you're a collector you know all of the delays with that set and how hard it is to get. But fingers crossed, as long as they are still coming, I hope to start a display up here. I think it'll look pretty cool. I thought I'd just let you guys know because it is a pretty random empty spot compared to the rest of the room. One thing before we head off, I really hope you all had a great Christmas day. What did you get for Christmas? Did you get any wrestling stuff? Leave it down below. As far as what I got for Christmas, and yes, I had a great Christmas day. We had the family over. It was a lot of fun. All I wanted for Christmas this year was money to put towards something other than the collection for once. Every year for Christmas, I've always just wanted figures or money to go towards figures. This year I decided to invest in the channel for once. Um, I asked for money to go towards buying a brand new, like, <laughs> like that's not it, um, what, what, what is Billy Kay doing here? Why is she so damaged, ripped, it's, man, okay that's not it, okay th what was behind it? It is a new, well kind of new camera, it is a Canon PowerShot G7X. I got the second hand off Trade Me, I was able to put the money towards this and Put a little bit of my own money towards it as well, but I paid like half of what it would cost new. Um, these cameras, it's a serious deal here. They are not cheap, but I've always wanted this and I've never seen as many recommendations for a camera for YouTube than this bad boy here. I really hope you've enjoyed the difference in this video. This is really the first video that we filmed with this new camera. I'm really enjoying it. Are you enjoying it so far? I really hope you are. So thank you all for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I worked extra hard on it. I hope you uh, had a lot of fun. You got some entertainment out of it. Farewell to 2020. Man, what a wild year it has been, but also what a great year, especially for the channel, hitting the 1,000 subscriber milestone. That was my biggest ever goal, and I couldn't have done it without you. So I really do appreciate every single one of you. And as I said before, let's aim towards hitting 2,000 subscribers next year. You think we can do it? <sighs> we can only try. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And we'll see you all in 2021.